Hi, I'm Tim Gibson. I'm going to talk to you about how to drain a water heater tank. Now, if a water heater happens to fail and we need to have it uh, changed out or we're going to do it as a do-it-yourself project, then before we actually remove the tank water heater, we're going to have to drain it. Now, the proper procedure to do this is you want to make sure that if it's an electric water heater, that the electrical has been turned off at the breaker, has been disconnected, or if it is a gas water heater, then you want to make sure that the gas is turned off. And in this case, you have a valve here, so we'd make sure this is turned off. Uh, you know these valves are turned off when they are 90 degrees, the lever is 90 degrees to the line. So we would turn that off, we would make our disconnections, and then also we are going to turn off the water supply that feeds the tank. Now after we turn off the water supply and verify that it's off, then we are going to disconnect the supply line to the water heater and then also we're going to disconnect the outfeed line uh, that goes in to the house and goes to all of your faucets. So once we have those disconnected, then we will come back and on every water heater down near the bottom you will see a connection or a fitting out here and this is your drain. So when we're ready to drain this, everything's been disconnected, this has a fitting that will accept a ordinary uh, lawn and garden hose. So we would attach the garden hose here and then we would run that out and make sure it's long enough to run out to a drainage area such as in the yard or along the curb along the house. Once that is done, then this simply unscrews counterclockwise just like any other device. It'll open the valve and with the lines disconnected, it'll allow that to drain. Now it's very important to make sure that the water heater has completely cooled and that there is not any hot water left in it. So in the case if you've had just one of your elements fail in your water heater, then you'd want to make sure that it's in the off position at least for 24 to 48 hours to allow that water to cool down uh, before you drain it. Otherwise the drain lines uh, could fail. So I'm Tim Gibson and that's how to drain a water heater tank.